Happy Thursday! Hey everybody! Hope you've had a great week. I know I have. Um, it's still cold here. Yes. Hence my Russian slash Alaska hat. We can't <laughs> figure out the origins of said headwear, but it is warm. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching and welcome back. Welcome back. Our first question of the week comes from Char Charette. And she asked, Grayson, how did you get mixed up with this Motley crew? Ooh, um, Motley Crue, gosh. The band, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's some other Grayson, I don't know her. Um, well, I've known Robert's family most of my life. And uh, although his kids are younger than I, um, his extended family, Coiner, that you might recognize from the show, mm -hmm. um, growing up with them, um, actually grew up on the same street as Robert's mom. Our families are kind of inter intermingled. Um, and then I've met the white sides kind of along the way as well. Dad went sailing with your dad a little bit. And yeah, we used to go to the beach together, our families, way back. Right. Uh, I barely remember it. So long story short, I've, I just wasn't a stranger when I came on. Um, and they needed somebody else. And I needed Some real a job. Talent is what needed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had actually just moved back to Roanoke at the time and was looking we well, not really sure how long I was going to stay here. I was kind of just deciding what I was going to do with my life and um, was not expecting what I came upon here at Black Dog. And I'm thrilled to say that I'm still enjoying it and still here four years now. Yay. Thanks. Oh, even better. We're happy to have her. So hopefully I'll be here for another four years at least. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this show's over. You're out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, okay, cool. Hopefully that answers that question. Um, Beth Kolnock asks, do you ever get recognized when you're on salvage jobs or otherwise? Mm, you know, it's still weird, but we do. Um, at least for me, I will never get used to it. But it's awesome to see people in public that, you know, we're, uh, sometimes I'm not even flying colors or anything, and I'm just wearing street clothes, and someone's like, hey, you're from that show. Or actually, one time a guy said, <laughs> You look a lot like that guy from Salvage Dogs. And I was like, I am that guy from <laughs> Salvage Dogs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I never get that. Yeah. Curious. <laughs> it's weird. Um, um, I yeah. get it a, a little bit. I feel like outside of work, I am usually look so different than what I do in my salvage clothes and stuff. That yeah. I, I honestly, it's almost like wearing a disguise. Even just having my hair down and my glasses on, people sometimes don't recognize me. Yeah. That's okay with me. Um, but yeah, definitely on salvage jobs when we're all together, we got to dinner after a job or at mm -hmm. lunch, you know, it's, it happens quite frequently then um, because, you know, the whole crew's together and we're just blazoned with logos, logos and salvage and dog, uh, black dog salvage and it's yeah. just pretty obvious. And you can't, Mike A and lot Robert of honks on the road, which we love. That's, That's my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. So. We just drive safely. <laughs> a little bit, yes. like, ah. yes. But we obviously lead normal lives, so <laughs> it's Thankfully. not that big of a deal. Yeah, no, it's not. We're not... Uh, there's not paparazzi hiding in my bushes, thankfully. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it is weird, and it, uh, but really fun. It's fun to get recognized. Um, the third question is from Aaron Kelderhouse, and they ask, how would you each describe your creative style? This is a tough one, because I honestly have to say my creative style is lacking lately, so. Well, you've been redoing your place, right? Yeah, so, you know, growing up, I, like, was really into, like, found stuff, whether it be, like, old, miscellaneous, rusty stuff, or mm -hmm. even just, like, pieces of earth and... <laughs> Dirt, rocks. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely rocks. <laughs> uh, a lot of gemstones and stuff in my right. house. But, and I would just use them for jewelry or just around my house decorating, and now it's like, kind of a salvage -y style, but I don't know if I'm too close to it to be able to put a, a word on it, you know? Right. A label, I mean. Yeah. I, I would say that my style is uh, kind of modern industrial. I like really modern, clean lines. Mm -hmm. I like raw metals. I like big bolts and fasteners, and, mm -hmm. which a lot of it parlays into the builds that we do in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to kind of express some of that. And I bought a house uh, early last year, so I've been kind of trying to to bring some of that style into this old 1978 grandma house that I have so <laughs> it's been a fun challenge but yeah I don't know it changes a lot I'm kind of like you like if I had to put a label on it it'd be that but I, I appreciate all kinds of different styles and feel free to label me whatever you want it's good not to <laughs> pigeonhole yourself I'll label you yeah yeah anyway well, that sounds good to me Tay yeah thank you guys cool. for the questions hope uh, that was everything you dreamed it would be <laughs> and, <Woo! laughs> and we'll see you see next, you next week. week thank you thanks guys <laughs>